And good morning, everyone. Welcome to this day. And it is Wednesday, January 30th, and it is National Croissant Day. Yes. You said you like to go every Sunday to get your yeah, croissant. Yeah, every Sunday to the donut shop near uh, where we both live. And uh, my daughter loves the ham and cheese croissant that they have there. Yeah, well, we're going to tell you. But they've been closed. They've been remodeling. We can't wait to Well, you're just going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait. And then later, we'll tell you how to make the perfect croissant. Ooh, that's a lot of effort I to know, get that right. It is, it is. So who's on? Hey, on our show today uh, from the South Orange County Community College District, we have the uh, board president of their trustees, TJ Prendergast, and he's going to tell us about, uh, well, a couple different things that have gone on there and what's uh, uh, they have a great kind of sort of an inventors type program they do with the local schools. Also from the Florence Sylvester Senior Center, Shirley and Cheryl. Cheryl's coming back. She'll be here today and uh, tell us what's going on uh, there for their month of February. I'm sure they have a good Valentine's Day program. Hearing Remedy, Ken Post will be here. And then from Dream Vacations, Diane Mendoza. And she's gonna bring along a gal with her named Suze, okay. who's gonna tell us a little bit about a cruise that they have coming up. Yeah. So we have, no, we have no meeting scheduled today, so I'm just gonna jump right in on how to make the perfect croissant. And that is laminating the dough. Mm -hmm. Laminating the dough is a process by which butter is folded into the mixture, creating multiple thin layers of butter and dough. The result is a mouth-watering, flaky crust and airy body. Now the picture that you're looking at, the croissant-shaped breads have been found around the world for ages, and one of these was called the Kipferl. And it was originated in Austria as far, Austria, as far back as the 13th century. This non-laminated bread is more like a roll. Now the man who uh, we can thank uh, the Kipfler for is uh, an Austrian military officer named August Zhang. In 1939, he opened a Viennese bakery in Paris introducing France to Viennese baking techniques. So there you go. So now you can all enjoy your delicious croissants, uh, buttery or not, or with ham and cheese as Ken likes them. All right, Ken, how's our weather shaping up? Haven't that's, seen rain yet. No, that sounds really good. I think I just buy the pre-made puff pastry or something like that yeah. to make my own. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, I love croissants. So, and I like the, the history behind that too. So. It figures Viennese. I mean, they're I, known yeah. for their uh, and those Austrians. Thing. You know, they've always got good stuff. Yeah. All right. <laughs> for us, uh, we got rain on the way, and we're going to have a lot of it. Now, today we should be mostly sunny, increasing clouds as we get to the evening, and then the rain for us could come in either late tonight, meaning 10, 11 o'clock, or right overnight, and uh, that's when we're going to get uh, a decent amount of it, and it should rain most of the day tomorrow. So uh, we are looking at um, maybe up to a uh, half inch to an, an inch tomorrow. As we get to Friday, we should see partly cloudy skies during the day. Then Friday, late evening rain. The biggest rainstorm will be coming in on Saturday. And that one could produce uh, in the area one inch or above. As certain areas will be getting of Southern California could see a couple inches that day. Then as we get into Sunday, that rain, uh, originally that rain was going to come in on maybe around 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Now it looks like more mid-afternoon. So right around when the Super Bowl starts, we should start to see sprinkles. It'll get heavier and heavier, then really heavy overnight Sunday into Monday. And then there's a chance of another storm, actually more of a real less of a, of a system coming in on Tuesday. But um, all told here, you know, you can see the temperatures uh, um, getting a little bit cooler, but all told, uh, we could be getting two to three inches of rain. It is predicted, uh, the one that I saw in the news this morning for San Clemente, they just gave that one as an example, them getting about two and, a, two and three quarters to three inches of rain, which means in this area, we should be about similar. This is all the way from Thursday all the way in through Monday, so keep that in mind. Now, around the area today, temperatures are a bit cooler, but still pretty darn nice. And I will mention that today that uh, uh, Michelle sent me a text showing temperatures in North Dakota, where she has some family, and the temperature this morning in North Dakota was negative 40, negative 40, with a wind chill of negative 59. So think about that for a moment, folks. That puts their 
Uh, I think the high today in Chicago, by the way, is going to be negative 12. Chicago, when I looked at it this morning, was negative 20, not counting the wind chill factor. So we are depending anywhere from maybe 80 to maybe 120 degrees warmer than what the air temperature is going to be in certain areas of the Midwest, 120 degrees warmer. That's incredible. So uh, think about that. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Mental health is important and it can be tough to find the best fit for your needs. Flora Stenger General and Specialty Dental Practice covers most of my dental needs in one location. Their on-staff specialists provide seamless services and communication between me, my doctors, and my insurance company. Located right down the road from Laguna Woods, our bus service stops right in front of their building. For the first time, I'm getting the dental care I need with the treatment I deserve. And my dental health has never been better. Call and book your first appointment today. I'm glad I did. This is how we burger brew and cue. Pick a town. Arrive hungry. Real hungry. Start with a massive burger. Charred, juicy, add bacon, a buttery bun, pile high. Serve it up, wash it down. Creamy, poppy, fruity, malty. <sighs> We're not done yet. Q-time, deep fried, sauce soap, pork ribs, meaty, tender. I'm full, where to next? All new, Burgers Brew and Q, Tuesday at nine. Cooking Channel, stay fired up. Hey Laguna Woods, it's Ken. And Lisa. Did you miss an episode of this day? Not to worry, head over to youtube.com and search Village Television. Here you can find each episode of this day and other community programs such as Good Day OC, Discovering Laguna Woods, and much more. Just click the red subscribe button, then click the bell to be emailed every time we upload a video. Don't miss out. And subscribe today. Maxi Comfort from Golden is the most comfortable lift recliner in the world. Its patented technology glides smoothly into a variety of positions not found on most recliners. Everyone loves the programmable auto drive control. You can lift and recline, watch TV or sleep, and enjoy the feeling of weightlessness in zero gravity. Made by American workers and backed by the industry's best warranties. Feel relaxed in a Maxi Comfort lift recliner. Contact your local Golden retailer today. Well, from the South Orange County Community College District, we have the uh, board president with us today, T.J. Uh, Pendergrass. And, and T.J., uh, uh, so many good things are happening at, uh, really in the community colleges in general, but at South Orange County Community College District, lots of great stuff going on. It's Saddleback in particular. Uh, they're having a, a new stadium and uh, uh, just great stuff going at ATEP and over at IVC. It's, it's a wonderful district, it really is. Yeah, it's an exciting time. We, yeah. we have, like you said, we have a lot of great projects going and a lot of uh, advancements in what we're offering to the students at all levels. Yeah, so uh, welcome, great to have you here. Now you, uh, although you folks are, um, uh, serve certain district areas, mm -hmm. uh, you, you all work together. You all kind of oversee oh, different things. And, yeah. uh, uh, but your service area south is um, uh, North Tustin, Tustin, Santa Ana, uh, Irvine, and some incorporated areas. But again, you, you folks all kind of, uh, you're all elected at large, am I right? Correct. Yeah. So you have to live in one of the seven areas, but you run throughout the entire yeah. district yeah. for re-election or general election. Right. So glad you're on the board. So um, one of the things that's been in the news uh, recently as far as uh, uh, the budget scope for Community College District is looking at uh, increasing some of the, um, uh, I, I, I guess it would be college for all type thing, but really giving the local community college districts a little more funding to be able to give back to the students and kind of uh, oversee some of the costs that they put out, right? Certainly. Uh, we have the College Promise Program mm -hmm. that's uh, an effort to try and uh, waive for tuition for students yeah. that are in need as well as show 
the aptitude academically. Right. And uh, if they stay on a certain path, they, they have that covered. Oh, that's which nice. Which is, is uh, yeah. a lot of the new funding is to help that College Promise program go into a second year. Um, we pretty much started it last year. Okay. Um, up and down the state. It was so this isn't a program where everyone just automatically gets community college for free. It's, you know, they, <laughs> there's certain parameters that they have to meet and, and go through. Correct. Almost like, almost in a sense, sort of like a, a state-sponsored scholarship type thing because a lot of t scholarships with universities, you know, you've got to have your grades up and, and keep, the, the, there's certain per, uh, parameters that the student has to Certainly, yeah. Follow. It's, it's, yeah. It is academic-based, but it's yeah. also need-based. Right. And it's, uh, each college can determine its okay. parameters for which it okay. wants the students to go through. Um, every, everyone does it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, we, of course, think the way we're doing it is really well, well done. So, yeah. uh, so far, it's been very successful. And along with that, in general, there's been some additional funding for community colleges as well. Correct. Yeah. In general, they yeah. increased. We're still a little behind the the funding model that mm -hmm. used to exist in 2008 before the okay. recession. Uh, I think that exists at the K through 12s as well. Yeah. We're, yeah. No one's gotten back to fulfill uh, their that the funding level that they were at then. Right. Um, but both at the K through 12 and at the community college level, the state has come up with new ways of funding that they think is more fair. Right, uh, right. And definitely reaches out to help uh, disadvantaged students, uh, either due to language, socioeconomic, mm -hmm. or uh, foster youth in, in that sense to try and help Okay. Some of those non-academic barriers that we, we see so much more these days. Okay, and also some uh, funding for the uh, Gateway Building on Saddleback Campus. And uh, what is that? Is like the main administration building? So yeah, so we have uh, had uh, gone through a long period where the state wasn't matching funds for construction. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to build new buildings, you either had to fund them entirely yourselves or go out for a bond and things of that nature. So we've been fortunate enough through our funding model in our district to be able to do some of that. But, okay. but projects the size of the, the Gateway Building, which is, yeah, it's a it's kind of a hub okay. for the students and the faculty and administration to, to be able to get things okay. done. All right, very good. Now, uh, also when it comes to student housing and food insecurities, are these, uh, you look at an individual and have uh, grants for them, or how does the stu student housing work? Because I know it's not something that you folks have on campus. We're working on that. Okay. So right now we've got a study to mm -hmm. see what what really exists out there. Okay. How many homeless students do we have? How many students are dealing with food insecurities? Um, mm -hmm. So maybe they have a place to live, but they you know have a hard time paying the bills, and you know feeding themselves and maybe a small family. Okay. And we're just going to see. We have to find the data first, and yeah. then see yeah. what it is that we have the capabilities to do financially and or uh, physically. Okay, all right, so that's something in the future you'll look at and see yes. what, what can be done. Now here's a, a, a great program. This is the 32nd Annual uh, Astounding Inventions event. This is really neat because this works for, with uh, K through eight students and it really goes along with the uh, STEAM program and uh, they get to invent things and have fun, and then you showcase that, right? Absolutely. It, I, I've actually been a part of that program now uh, for 15 years because my own daughters uh, were in it. Okay. And had inventions. And then when I became a trustee, it was a, a really exciting to be kind of in the background and, and part of how it develops. And it, it's really exciting to see how these children come up with these ideas. Yeah. And then move on. There was one young young boy who won the top level prize in fourth grade mm -hmm. and was there again in sixth grade uh, pitching a new product, but in between the judging and the awards, he was over in the uh, PAC uh, basically selling his past invention to people who were interested in it. Wow. Was marketing it and had it going. It was really impressive. Yeah. And then we were talking and I was able to say in my opening speech that, you know, my own daughters have gone into STEM and mm -hmm. their friends, they have one friend who's going to be auto 
automotive engineer and another one who's biotech engineering. And I, we just started thinking about it. It's like, how, how could we maybe track yeah. in the 32 years of this, how many of those students have yeah. been inspired to go on into science or math or engineering or technology? Yeah, that is a, that's amazing. And it's a, it's a great program because kids really get enthused on things like that. And you, I think when it, when it comes to uh, a lot of times at a younger age like that, their minds are freer. They're not thinking about how am I gonna market this? I mean, that one kid obviously did. But they're just thinking like, this would be a good idea. You know, let, let's put this out there. And uh, you know, from there, things can progress, but they're, they're just come up with some wonderful ideas that they see a need for. Like, why isn't Certainly. this done this way? And it's, I think it's, a, in many ways, a lot better than a science fair. Yeah. It's because they're trying to solve a problem. Yeah, yeah. They're trying, and it, it may be science-based, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah. It can be anything from, you know, we saw kids with special shoes that would do you know, like almost like a Swiss Army knife. It would have tools in the shoe, or, yeah, or uh, a mop that. <laughs> We're has, seeing some of the uh, yeah, there, a mop yeah. that has all of the attachments to it, uh, or a lawnmower that has you know weed killer, yeah, and uh, grass seed compartments on it, so you can take care of that while you're mowing the lawn. Yeah, it just, you know, and makes you wonder where they found that need. Um, you well, know. you know, that kid would probably had to mow the lawn, yeah. and then the. The parents said, "You know what? We got to put seed on there. Go out there." He's like, "Wait a minute!" You just never know. Yeah, <laughs> look really at—I mean, look at this kid here, tackle tamer, and um, coming up with a—you know—I guess like a tackle box, and mm -hmm. probably figuring out this is a better way to do this. And I Absolutely. think this is wonderful. You can always build a better mousetrap, right? Yeah. Now, do they get prizes for this or any kind of scholarships? Certainly. How does so, that work? Uh, the top-level winners, I believe. Uh, get $50 mm -hmm. if they get a, a first place. Yeah. I believe second place gets $25. And all that's funded by the sponsors. And, and then they pick, I believe, four top level winners to go to the law firm that sponsors the event to uh, ultimately pick one person who gets a free patent wow. application. Wow. The, the law firm pro bono yeah. helps them get a patent. That's incredible. Yeah. What a wonderful program. And this goes on once a year in January? Once a year in January. Okay. That is, that is really cool. I like that. Um, now, 50th anniversary of Saddleback College, and you wanted to, actually that was like a couple years ago, am I right? It's still ongoing. Okay. It's this year is the, is, is oh, it is. Okay. the culmination of the 50th year. And you have something going on right now, it's called Tell Your Story, right? Right, yeah, we're really encouraging anyone who had involvement as a student or former faculty uh, administration to let us know what their experience was mm -hmm. while they were in Saddleback and uh, where they are now yeah, as a result be, of that experience. Yeah, and you plan to put out like an exhibit or an online thing? How do, what are you gonna do with I'm the information? I'm not entirely sure what the it? ultimate okay. uh, product will be. They're still putting that together. Yeah, well, of course, you know. I guess we, it depends on how much we, we get. have. Um, <laughs> You know, every few months we have Marsha on. Of course, she goes way back with them, and I'm sure she's she's right behind something like this. Yes, yeah, absolutely. yeah, very good, uh, folks. You can go online and get more information for the South Orange County Community College District. It's right there, socccd.edu, and from there you can find out uh, what's happening at Saddleback at IVC and ATEP. I know ATEP. Uh, is moving along uh, quite good. That is, of course, the technology center that is being done on the old Tustin Air Base, right? Correct. We have the idea building there now. Yeah. Uh, that is a high tech modeling, uh, 3D modeling robotics oh, technology center right now, and then uh, some other projects in the works. Very good. All right. Great. And thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. Always good to see you. Say hi to everyone for me. We'll see them again soon. Will do. All right, you take care. You. We'll be right back. Yeah, it's incredible. Hi, I'm Sharon. I am so pleased to welcome you to JTV. We're a 24-7 home shopping network focused exclusively on jewelry and gemstones. 
And because we believe every woman deserves to be lifted up, we love to help her sparkle, keep her informed, and make her smile. Our viewer is passionate about jewelry and gemstones, and we share her passion. Because of that, she keeps coming back, making us one of the top retailers in the United States. We sell extraordinary products at extraordinary prices. Welcome to JTV. Do you know the difference between the parts of Medicare? Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. There are many important facts you need to understand about Medicare to make sure you get the most out of the Medicare plans and benefits that are available to you. My name is Erin Reed, and I'm a licensed Medicare expert, and I would love to help you navigate the complicated Medicare system. Please call me today for a free consultation so we can figure out the plan that is right for you. Before the next earthquake, take 30 seconds to refresh your memory about these important disaster preparedness tips. Make a family emergency plan. Decide how you'll get in touch with each other, where you'll go, and what you'll do in an emergency. Build a disaster supply kit with enough water, food, and emergency supplies to last at least three days. It's important to have disaster supply kits for work, cars, and pets too. Find and fix items in your home that might hurt someone by moving, breaking, or falling during an earthquake. Know how to react safely when the ground shakes. If you're inside, stay there. Remember to drop, cover, and hold on. Drop down onto your hands and knees and cover your head and neck with your arms to protect yourself from falling objects. If you can move safely, crawl under a sturdy desk or table and hold onto one of the legs until the shaking stops. After an earthquake, help people who are hurt or trapped Call 911 for emergencies only. Check your home for damage, including gas or water leaks, damaged wiring, or downed power lines. Protect your family and your home by making a plan, building a kit, and practicing disaster drills at least twice a year. Be sure to visit readyoc.org for more information on emergency preparedness and alertoc.com to sign up for emergency alerts and notifications. We want you to be prepared for a disaster just as much as you do. Welcome back. With me today are the ladies from the Senior Center. We have Shirley Witt, and I'd like to welcome back, because I haven't seen you for a while, is uh, Shell Whelan. And, um, you know, they, they took down the temporary, the wall from Canada, so she was able to come across <laughs> and get it's with us. It's back up again yeah, it's when, back. She, when she's down here. Yeah, so, so it's great. Yeah, great you, to have you here. Did you see that wall? They had it on, the, uh, on Facebook. No, I didn't. It's no. like uh, two tunnels of snow. It says, we, <laughs> we've have, we have our you wall. You have one, yes. It's nature made. Yeah. Um, you know, I was just, I was saying where I was doing... Uh, the, uh, the weather this morning, and of course, you know, I, where are you from? In Toronto. In Toronto. I don't know what the temperature is there. Cold. But, you know, we're like 100 degrees warmer yeah. than oh, parts in the Midwest. It's incredible. This, this weather is making me hysterical. I, I don't like it. It's so cold. Yeah. So, I mean, I could not. Can you imagine? No, I can't imagine. We, we checked Nome, Alaska today. It's yeah. 23. Wow. So it's, it's warm. It's but they're, they're too far, far west. Yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> You here, you folks are here. We got right here the February booklet that gives all the great stuff that right. is coming up. So who would like to talk first? Cheryl. All, okay. right. all right. What do you have for us today? Some of the things that are coming up over the month. Well, we have a lot of classes starting back up, of mm -hmm. course. And um, Caregiver Resource Center is doing Journey of Caregiving classes. They're doing it on That's a series. A yeah. So the next class is February 6th, which is next week. And um, I think that's Wednesday. And I that's got it a right. great class. We've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. And so often, you know, caregivers, which are more often than not a family member. Right. And, you know, they're at wit's end a the lot of The stress is unbelievable. Yeah. But, you know, the support system that they get through their peers. Yeah really helps and because that's why it's good. they yeah. can find out been there done that mm -hmm. this is a good way of doing things and um, so hopefully people will sign up for this class and take it because it's well worth it yeah it really is so yeah. i highly recommend that for anyone who's going through that right now or or maybe it's someone who 
sees that on the horizon very Absolutely. quickly. Absolutely. So definitely sign up for that. All right. What's a, a so couple more that are coming? Memorial away? Care Medical Group, or they're doing monthly talks at our, mm -hmm. our center. Uh, Dr. Trin is coming and he speaks on a variety of yes, topics. Yes, we know Dr. Trin quite so well. So he's doing on Tuesday, February the 14th, memory loss, when should you be worried? I'm worried right now. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, if you if too. you put your keys in the fridge, I'd worry. Yes. But if you forget someone's name like your name, what's your name again? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have that's why you have name tags. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so he's always he's always entertaining and he's and he actually gives out some very good advice. Yeah, he's a great guy. I mean, he's been on our show on and off for quite a long time and uh, yeah he does uh, Alzheimer talks and of course right he goes throughout the world with his youth groups yes, and they help people he so yes he yeah. does and he's a funny guy and I think they're going down to Haiti in a couple yeah. weeks so yes um, lastly uh, elder abuse how to avoid being a victim ah okay we're having um, ADA Ted Barnett um, mm -hmm from the Orange County District Attorney's Office. He's gonna be speaking about the scams of predators, phone scams, yeah, and uh, what happens when that, when, it, when, that, when it occurs and what yeah. you can do about it. And it's really, uh, you know, it gets to the point, I've gotten calls and I told um, our social security guy, we have uh, uh, Jeffrey Rodriguez on once a month, he does social security show, and I got a call that looked like it was from Social Security. Now, I don't take it, so I already knew. Right. But I answered the call because, as I told him, uh, I usually don't answer any calls. I don't recognize the number. It, it happened on a day where I always get a call from the water delivery service saying, your bottles are going to be delivered. And I, I, you know, so I answered it. It was an right. 800 call. And if you don't answer it, they call you back. This is Social Security. You know, your benefits are going to be suspended. Da, 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 da. And you know, I hung up, but I told him about it. And this, whoever these people are, cloned their actual Social Security 800 number. Wow. So, oh, wow. Uh, you know, and as he said, Social Security will never call you right. unless you initiate that first. Right. But still, can you imagine somebody who's dependent on that getting that call? No, and you know, if you're 85 years old and you get a call like that, the nerve, it, the people get so nervous. They call yeah. us in a panic right and uh you know it's 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 so sad yeah so this will be really good yeah. what date is this oh uh fe tuesday february 19th at okay. one o'clock all right so that'll be good and i know you guys will be back between then you can remind right. us of that right. all right very important one okay and you've got some stuff coming up we as well a, we have a couple things you know we uh we you know tim bryant with yes, nesting in, in finances tim is tim is a great guy so yeah. we only surround ourselves with trustworthy people in the community when we do our programs. <laughs> and so, except for Cheryl. Um, Tim is going to do a, a, a lecture on February 20, 20th, your finances and our mm -hmm. economy. Yeah. Things are bumpy right now, yeah, yeah. you know, so, but Tim's going to do a, and, and he's wonderful because he makes it so simple mm -hmm. for us to understand. Real nice person. It, very nice. A couple things are, is risk or all or nothing, is that something that you should be doing or, Fossil ener energy or renewable energy, which should you get into for the ah, 19th? Exactly. That's really interesting. Yeah. And IRAs is, you know, should, should night. So he's, he's doing the basics, of course, but he's got some really, really good information. And that's February 20th at 1 o'clock at the center. Just call the center. If you stop by, just sign up so we know that you're coming. That'll be and he always gives away something. You know what I bet people are going to ask? What? In my opinion, the whole, um, because you're seeing more and more, investments into cannabis and things oh, like absolutely. that. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I mean, he, he talks about that. And yeah. along with that, That'll be interesting. Uh, because he's so popular and he has such great information, yes. he's going to yeah. come once a month. Okay. Just like we have free legal advice once a month with the lawyers. Mm -hmm. They sit with you for a free half-hour consultation. Tim's going to do that once a month. And all you have to do is call the senior center and you can sit with him for a free half-hour consultation on on different things and he'll give you your opinion he's he's not there to sell anything or or to give anything away but he's really really good guy about telling you exactly yeah which direction That'll maybe you should go he's, he is a very nice person we want to mention too folks if you ever want to uh, uh, help out um, your financially 
you can go to my, myagewell.org Absolutely. and uh, find out information there. The number's on the screen. That's the um, Agewell. Oh, no, that's your Florence Sylvester number there, right? Eight three yes. three eight zero. but you can still call us, yeah. and we'll, we'll send you to the right. You know, yeah, it doesn't matter which number you call. We're, you know, we're a charity and a nonprofit you yeah. know, serving seniors, so uh, in, your, in your neighborhood. So, yeah. you know, please, please help us out so we can continue the great services that we have. And if they can't do it financially, you can certainly help with Meals on Wheels or Absolutely. volunteer. Absolutely. Volunteering, we can always use an army of volunteers yeah, to can, help out. You know, go and uh, get Cheryl her coffee every day. She'll appreciate right. that. Yeah. She, go, she runs through a lot half of volunteers doing yes. that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All right. Does. Great to see you. Anything else? Did you have one no, more thing? There, no, but that's... come and pick up our newsletter. Okay. There's a ton of things going on in February. A Super Bowl, Super Bowl this Friday, Super yes. Bowl party. Yeah. We have a football throwing contest every year. So, oh, that would fun. be fun to watch. It is fun. It is fun to watch. All right. Very good. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, Kim. And uh, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank you. You take care. Bye-bye. Memory Program at Mission Hospital is an outpatient program specifically designed for patients with a memory disorder who have developed a mental health issue, such as depression, anxiety, or paranoia. Patients are welcome every day, Monday through Friday, up to four days a week. On-site meals and snacks are included, and transportation to and from the program is available. The program focuses on improvement in overall mood, function, and concentration, as well as a decrease in depression or anxiety. Call today to find out if you or your loved one qualifies for the Mind and Memory Program. It takes a team effort to provide compassionate care. At Health Plus Medical Supply and El Toro Pharmacy, your personal attention is our top priority. We have everything you need, including stair lifts, rollators, knee walkers, wheelchairs, power chairs, power wheelchairs, scooters, and car lifts. And we provide all maintenance and installation. Health Plus is located inside El Toro Pharmacy, where we provide the same compassion for your pharmacy and drugstore needs. Located in Moulton Plaza. Hi, it's Desiree from Irvine Subaru, where families come first. As a family-ran dealership, your family's safety is our number one priority. Come in and find the perfect Subaru from the largest selection of Subarus in Orange County. All models are top safety picks by the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety. We offer the ideal balance of safety, performance, and economy. Irvine Subaru, more Subarus, more safety, more performance, more love. Missed a moment of the passage? Explain to me why you need a kid. What we're doing could save millions. It's not too late to catch the show critics say is gripping. You're my most important little girl in the world. We'll keep you coming back for more. I suggest you run. Your next thriller obsession. You just did that. I just did that. The Passage, all new Mondays at 9, or watch anytime on demand or Fox Now. Have you been struggling to hear in larger groups? You know, that can be very frustrating. We do have solutions for that, a hearing remedy in particular. These tiny hearing aids that can help people hear better in many, many noisy situations. Please give us a call. We have these on sale for a limited time, only $895 for a hearing aid. Call, make an appointment for your free hearing exam, and get on the road to better hearing. Welcome back. Ken Post with Hearing Remedy is in studio today, and we're going to talk about the process, what it's like to go into Hearing Remedy and kind of just kind of walk us through the process. So what happens when you first come and visit with you? When, when, I, when you first come and visit to me, I like to get to know you a little bit because that's part of the whole process in figuring out if you're going to go into a hearing aid, what's, what's appropriate. We like to know your lifestyle and get an idea of what's going to be a good hurt hearing aid for the kind of places you go. Okay. Some people are very simple and don't need all an extravagant hearing aid and some people, oh I'm going to be going out to restaurants, I go out to different meetings and church and here and there, I'm doing all kinds of things. 
Well, we want you to have a hearing aid that's going to work in all those situations. Okay, so I really didn't so. know that there was so much of a difference. So yeah. what would be some of the differences? If you if you have a hearing aid, if you are super active, and mm -hmm. I would assume that's for things that are very loud, right? That, that's the biggest thing okay. with hearing aids is being in, in hearing loss is being able to hear when there's some noise around. Okay. So the better hearing aids get you better hearing in noisier places. Okay. So if you want to walk and be able to walk into a pretty noisy restaurant or a noisy family gathering, mm -hmm. you'll be able to hear with a better hearing aid, with, okay. a, with, a, with a higher end hearing aid. So okay. it's a matter of judging where, where what, what level does this person need based on their, their lifestyle. Okay. So that's one of the things I'm doing and just chatting and getting to know you. And then we'll actually give a hearing test and there's actually several phases to that, and from there we talk about the hearing aid, and then it, then from there we actually will get into fitting one, and we might just put one on you just so you can experience it. Okay. And so there's a physical part of the fitting, and that's getting all the part around your ear adjusted properly. So and then the part that goes in your ear has to fit. The you have an ear canal, and everyone's got a different size, different bends, different things. So mm -hmm. everything has to be fit well pro physically, mm -hmm. and then. We use the hearing test information, pull that into another part of the computer, and we, we do a lot of technical adjusting oh. on the hearing aid to get it to fit to your, your unique loss. Okay. We'll put in some noise, see how you fit. I'll play some noise and we'll talk. And we may do some tweaking around to, make, to allow you to hear better in a noisier situation. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that, are, that, are, that I do to get them fit to a unique loss. Everyone's loss is a little unique. Okay. It takes an analytical mind. I've spent 35 years programming very complicated machines, okay. and now I'm here program, uh, uh, programming hearing aids to get mm -hmm. people to work right, well for people. Okay. So I use that expertise in being able to analyze, being able to problem solve, because okay. that's, that's a big, a big part of the deal is being able to, someone comes back and they're having some issue somewhere, now, where am I going to go in and make a change for this person in their hearing aid mm -hmm. so it works next time when they're in that situation? Right, right. So I, I'm assuming uh, many of this will, many of the things that you sort of look at would be frequency, like, and, and when you do the hearing test, what are some things that you're listening for? Or well, you're, you're watching to see what they hear, or what are you looking at? There's a couple different ways, things we're looking at. For one, the, the basic of it is we play tones okay. and we figure out at what point we make it softer, at what point can they just barely hear that tone? Okay. And then we chart that on a chart. That's their hearing chart. I see. And we chart different frequencies, boo, 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 okay. different tones. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that gets charted out. And that's the information, it's the starting point for doing an adjustment on a hearing aid. Okay. We do a lot more on top of that. We actually will do another test with the hearing aid in place. Because mm -hmm. the acoustics change when you put all these pieces in your ear, oh. and that acoustic change changes the, those frequencies that we've done. We've done these measurements, right. they change some. Okay. And if we actually do the test with the hearing aid in place exactly the way they're gonna be wearing it, mm -hmm. we get a much better fit, and a much, they get a much better, um, more, a better success rate when we do that kind of thing. Okay, and, um, and you know, when you said something about the ear canal, mm -hmm. when you fit a hearing aid, you know, I, I'm, I've never had that happen, but when you have a mold for a tooth, you know, they actually put something in your ear. So do you do that with something, or is it just the actual earpiece that goes in there and molds to your canal? We, we can do custom ones. Okay. The custom ones actually were very popular about 10 years ago. Almost everything was a custom hearing aid. Mm -hmm. um, that was partly because the technology hadn't caught up to the point where you didn't have to have custom. Because okay. the non-custom, which is a, a rubber piece that goes in your ear, is actually way more comfortable than a custom part. Oh, no kidding. The custom okay. is molded exactly to your ear, and it touches your ear canal everywhere okay. that it's in there. Okay. The little rubber piece only touches the, the ear canal in a little small little area. They're way, way more comfortable. Okay. So people that have had the older ones that just remember, oh, you know, they're, they're just, you put them in, they're so uncomfortable. Yeah. That's, that's a thing of the past. They're okay. way, they're like a lot more comfortable. Okay. They're, you get the product quicker because mm -hmm. we don't have to go and make that custom part. Right. Uh, so 
And uh, if we have something in stock, you can walk out that day with a, with a hearing aid. Oh, okay, good. So, so the technology uh, has really taken... The technology has really come a long ways. Great. And the other thing that we get, again, from a real active person, is the automation in the hearing aid. You used to have to know, I walk into a restaurant, and i got to push this little button on the hearing aid mm -hmm. three times for a restaurant. And very few people remembered, and did, you know, right. did I do it right? I don't know. It's all automatic. Perfect. The hearing aid figures out where you're at. It can figure out, oh, you're in a family gathering. I'm going to make these adjustments for you so you can hear well in mm -hmm. those. That's excellent. And we're actually getting to the point now that, that, that even some of the latest ones are using some, some what they call machine learning. So if you, they kind of figure out, you can actually fine tune the hearing aid. You're, uh, like someone more technical might do that. Right. And that information is fed back to the company, and the company uses that to make the next fitting even better for the next people that come along. Oh, that's great. So, so using amazing. that information. That Perfect. information gets worked, worked forward. So. All right, good. And I know you have a brand new phone number, 949-HEARING. That's right. That is we super easy. That. Yeah, it's very easy to remember. And great. We, we love to talk to people. And yes and learn all about them and I'm so yeah. excited that you'll be able to help them out and just remember that when they go in you just want to hear your hear the history and what you love to do. Yeah. All right, perfect. Thank you for the okay. information. You're welcome. Okay. And remember if you have any questions about hearing aid or the testing that they do, call 949 hearing. We'll be right back. Have you been struggling to hear in larger groups? Well, that can be very frustrating. We do have solutions for that at Hearing Remedy, in particular, these tiny hearing aids that can help people hear better in many, many noisy situations. Please give us a call. We have these on sale for a limited time, only $895 for a hearing aid. Call, make an appointment for your free hearing exam, and get on the road to better hearing. Through my window, I see the first sunlight, and I feel the warm ocean breeze. I see the waves that lulled me all night. That's what my window brings me. Look at this. That view is a million dollars. It's amazing. We can look at these kinds of places within our budget. You don't have a bad view from here anywhere you look. It's all about the view. Sunday night is beach night. Sunday night at 8, only on HGTV. At Diane's Hallmark, we're ready for Valentine's Day. Are you? Come in and see our great selection of cards and gifts. We have everything you need to show that special someone how much you care. And don't forget those grandkids either. Diane's Hallmark has many gifts and cards for them as well. Diane's Hallmark is located in the town center right next to Hobby Lobby. Come in today and take care of all of your Valentine's Day needs. At El Toro Pharmacy, your health needs and your quality of life is our top priority. We can be trusted with all your prescription needs, delivered free to your doorstep. Call us to have your prescription transferred. We will take care of everything, no hassle to you. We are a full-service pharmacy carrying all your over-the-counter medicines at competitive prices. And we offer complete diabetic care and your immunization requirements too. Under new management, come visit us in Molten Plaza. El Toro Pharmacy will never be undersold and we offer the finest after-sales services. Did you know there are over 400,000 seniors in Orange County today? So where does a senior or family caregiver go for information and resources? You can turn to the Answers Guide, published by the Council on Aging Southern California. Answers is full of articles and resources to help you navigate the aging experience. You can pick up your free copy today at the clubhouse nearest you or at the Social Services Office. The Council on Aging, helping seniors remain healthy, connected, and protected. Welcome back. Travel has been a big topic here with Dream Vacations, and we have Diane Mendoza here of Dream Vacations, and also Suze Angel, who is here to talk about a different kind of movement for body, mind, spirit. And so first we'll start with Diane. Tell me a little bit about 
the upcoming cruise that you guys are doing? Well, we have an amazing opportunity. Um, we are on our way to Alaska, which is a beautiful destination. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is encourage everybody to get all, out of that recliner <laughs> and move with us and have a great time doing so. Okay, so now you're gonna be taking, I think you said the Princess Cruise Lines, correct? That's correct. Okay, and that's going to be in September. And it's in conjunction with the Wellness Club. So it's Leslie Coretti. And then, Suze, you're going to be doing a t particular type, speci ah, a specific type of movement. Tell me about that. Um, the, it's called Brain Body Fitness. Okay. And it's based on the work of Moshe Feldenkrais, Feldenkrais Method. Okay. I've been doing this for many, many years. This is what, after I had an injury in my 30s, what enabled me to regain my movement capacity. I had major back issues. Mm. And so I've been teaching and working with people here in Laguna Woods for over 30 years. Wow, tell me the difference between what your kind of movement is and, and maybe just a standard stretching. Well, when you think about stretching or Pilates or yoga, what you're doing frequently, and sometimes people can injure themselves, because they try to actually stretch the muscles which don't stretch. Mm. They, you can tear ligaments and tendons, those attached to the bones. And so the muscle has to lengthen. So when you do a movement, you will bend and straighten by contracting and then the muscle has to release. Okay. So sometimes you get spasms or you get stiff. Yeah. And if you force, then you can injure yourself. So this is engaging your brain, and it moves slowly. It's based on the way babies move. Mm -hmm. They move easily. Mm -hmm. We, as we get older, get a little stiffer. We have a little more trouble. And so if we can go back to doing movements like a baby does, you'll notice that babies are little round little balls. Mm -hmm. They roll around. Mm -hmm. They roll to sit. So you can go to the gym, and a lot of these movements in the gym are very angular. Mm -hmm. And so you lose the flexibility that allows you to move sideways. You may strengthen the muscle in a particular plane, mm -hmm. but you don't have that movement capability and the strength in another plane. Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how, how will you be incorporating this on the cruise itself? Well, we'll have classes in the morning or sometime when you know, you're not seeing anything beautiful at sea. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can go out dancing the night before. You'll be nice and limber after the class. Uh -huh. And if you do a little bit too much, the next day you can come in and, <laughs> and recover. Good. And so it's kind of like, you know how cats and dogs, they move in the morning. Right. In we head for the coffee maker, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of heading for the coffee maker, you can come and you can learn how you can keep right. yourself going right. and keep that flexibility. All right, excellent. All right, good. Mm -hmm. So Diane, let's talk a little bit about the actual uh, cruise itself and what are some of the fun things you guys are gonna do. Well, we're departing out of the Port of Los Angeles, which is easy, no flight to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful 12-day inside passage itinerary. So all those beautiful ports of call. And um, Glacier Bay will be the highlight of the trip. Okay. And um, there's some wonderful tours to, to ex enhance your time on board the ship. And uh, most recently, I did a float plane over, the, over to the Taku Lodge, which was really cool because I got to see and fly over fly, five glaciers. Oh, wow. And then enjoy a nice lunch. So it was a nice, mm. a nice uh, experience. And then a little dog sledding. I thought that was pretty incredible how the dogs all interact and kind of... Mm with each other a little bit along the way, but oh, uh, yeah. it was a fun experience. Competing probably, I'm gonna go <laughs> faster than <laughs> you type thing. <laughs> we did come back on the 29th, so it's a lovely 12-day getaway, and it's a beautiful ship, actually the newest princess ship to come over to the West Coast. Oh. So we're excited about that as yeah, well. Yeah, you know, we have a picture of what's called a, a skywalk? It's a sea walk. S oh, sea walk, so what is it? So it's actually uh, cantilevered past the ship, so you're really, and it's all glass, so wow. when you're walking along it, you can actually see the water below you. Oh, that so must be a kind of a vertigo tricky, thing. <laughs> but it should be great for... Um, yeah, look at it, it's beautiful. Can you imagine wow. you know, looking at Glacier Bay through that? Oh, so yeah. That'd be really nice. Yeah, oh, that's nice. And then yeah. you said there were some tours on on land. Uh, will you be able to walk on one of the glaciers? Is that one of them? You could if you wanted to. Okay. Yes, absolutely. That possibility is always there. Usually you get there by helicopter first and then ah. you'll land on a glacier. Oh my gosh, that yeah. sounds so exciting. All right, so if anyone wants to know more information, then we have your phone number and your email address. Uh, and it's Dream Vacation. So it's d.mendoza at dreamvacations.com or you can call Diane at 
949-652-5177. Perfect. Anything additional you'd like to say? Well, I just read in AARP that going on a cruise is a good way to improve your balance. Oh, well, there because you Because you have a balance challenge. That's right. So what you're going to learn in class is ways to really deal with keeping your balance and you'll have all these long hallways to walk down right. and practice and get exercise. Perfect. And we also have Susan Tuttle joining us. So she'll be doing her oh, chair Pilates right. on board. Mm -hmm. And yeah. knowing Susan's energy, we're going to Macarena all the way to Alaska and back. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds perfect. Thank you very much for the and information. And then you can recover in the Feldenkrais <laughs> class the She's next day. <laughs> Susan's going to be the initiator, and you're going to be the recoverer. All right. I'm, I'm sound, really good at party stuff, too. <laughs> <laughs> sounds excellent. Thank you again. Thank you. Lisa. And remember, if you guys want more information about this fabulous cruise and all the fun movements and exercise you're going to be doing, just go ahead and uh, contact the information on our screen. We'll be right back. Do you know the difference between the parts of Medicare? Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. There are many important facts you need to understand about Medicare to make sure you get the most out of the Medicare plans and benefits that are available to you. My name is Erin Reed, and I'm a licensed Medicare expert, and I would love to help you navigate the complicated Medicare system. Please call me today for a free consultation so we can figure out the plan that is right for you. Looking for a change of scenery? You don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials. At 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Kimber Mood with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. We've seen an increase in phone scams where con artists pretend to be someone they are not, including law enforcement officers. Don't be a victim. Trust your instincts. If a call seems suspicious, it probably is. For example, the Orange County Sheriff's Department will never require payment over the phone. If you receive one of these calls, contact the Orange County Sheriff's Department as soon as possible and visit our website to learn more about scams. Hi, I'm John Bowser Bauman. You probably know me best as Bowser from Shanana, but I'm also president of Social Security Works PAC. And you know, when I'm in Laguna Woods, I always watch Village Television. Grease for peace. sci-fi thriller all in one the movie on Friday is called Venom mm -hmm. and it is rated PG-13 though so it's not so scary <laughs> but uh, after a faulty interview with the Life Foundation would ruins his career former reporter Eddie Brock's life is in pieces six months later he comes across the Life Foundation again and comes into contact with an alien symbiote and becomes Venom, a parasitic anti-hero, kind of like the scarier yeah. version of Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. This it, looks like an interesting movie. I don't I didn't know about this character. You know, I liked it. I thought it was a very good movie. I watched it with my son and uh, you know, we like all the Marvels yeah. and fun stuff. Um, but it's just kind of it's just kind of weird because the creature's gross. <laughs> He's kind of a gross creature. But nonetheless, I don't want to give it all away. It's got Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, and Riz Ahmed. And that's on Friday, February first at 2 and 7 p.m. Yeah, that looks like a good one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Now, on Monday, um, we have a movie called Concussion, which is perfect with the Super Bowl coming up because <laughs> it does deal with the NFL. This is a true right. story uh, that happened a few years back, and an accomplished pathologist, Dr. Bennett Amalu, who uh, uncovers the truth about traumatic brain damage and injury in football players who suffer repeated concussions in the course of normal play. And I remember when this really did come out and they were trying to change the NFL and mm. it really didn't go through. But a very good movie. Will Smith does um, an excellent job, as he always does. He's a great actor in mm -hmm. portraying this, this role. And uh, 
Also, Alec Baldwin is in this, and Albert Brooks. Very, very a good, good cast. Movie. Really good cast. I haven't seen it, and you know, my my son played football, and that was always a huge concern. But now it seems like they're doing much more to help yeah. prevent concussions. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's this will uh, if you haven't seen this before. Uh, it came out in 2015. It'll kind of open your eyes to things. Yeah. So interesting. Yep. Now let's open your eyes uh, to <laughs> the weather. Crazy weather. And although we got uh, today about what we had <laughs> yesterday. The uh, rain is starting to come in uh, probably, I would say around this area, maybe 11 o'clock at night or a little bit afterwards. But uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, expect some uh, rain every single day. Tomorrow, uh, maybe about a half inch of rain or a little bit more. Then we'll uh, be a little bit of clearing on Friday. Now the Friday to Saturday one, Friday night, again late it will come in, really be heavy overnight Friday into Saturday morning and continually raining uh, throughout Saturday all the way probably through uh, eight, nine o'clock at night. It'll let up a little bit. Then on Sunday, that storm system is now supposed to come in mid afternoon and last until Monday. And then there's a slight <laughs> chance of another very, very small system coming in Tuesday. So be prepared. They're looking at throughout this whole system anywhere depending in uh, like for this area they're looking at maybe about three inches of rain in total for those several days mm. so keep that in mind and unfortunately you know <coughs> super bowl sunday we should get uh, rain coming in in the afternoon here we are looking around today pretty much what we had yesterday a little bit cooler uh you know some scattered clouds but a lot of sunshine out there again as we get to later on in the evening we'll start to see those increasing clouds all right I know when you said rain was coming, you weren't kidding. I was not. No, this is going to be, I don't think, as heavy as we got that last series of storms where we got right. a six and a half inches at our house. I don't think it'll be that heavy. Probably be half that, but that's still about three inches. Well, you know, Ken, yeah. he'll have us knowing how many inches there are because of your rain, what do you call it? Weather station. Right? Weather station Weather that station. he has in his yard. It is, yeah. <laughs> All right, tomorrow we have Mayor Gregory Rass of Mission Viejo coming in. Yeah. We have Adapt to It. Leslie always has something fun to show us. And we also have Morgan Fundings Land, who's with the Kindness Foundation. And he's going to tell you a little bit about some things that they have used your donations for. And then, of course, we have Erica coming in with the Globe. So we have yeah. a full day tomorrow. Have See a great then. day today. Bye bye.